Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flojo. Today we are going to be looking at the days of week function on Power Automate. So, this is quite a long function because what it does is it returns the digit of the day. So, for example, Friday would be 5. And we're going to go through and work out how we can actually get the text name of the week rather than just a digit. Okay. So we've got a variable of today's date and we've used UTC now. So the date has actually been set to 2021-03-26 with the, t the time, etc. So we now have a variable with this. And then what we do is we use day of week and we pass in today's date, which is the variable. What this is going to do then is it's going to return us the integer of 5 because the 26th of March is a Friday hence function Friday and it's giving us the fifth number so Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday okay so how do we get the actual text of Friday how do we get from this long date and time the actual text value of Friday. Well, if we create another variable at the start of our flow with an array of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, so we've got the day names, and then in a compose action what we would do is we would take the day names and then we would use the square brackets and pass in the output of our day of the week output. But what we want to do, because arrays start at zero, so Monday is zero, so obviously Friday would be four at this point, but we're getting an output of five, we need to use the sub function. Now the sub function is subtract, so what we're going to do is we're going to pass in the day of the week output, which would be five, and we're going to subtract one. So then we get the return of four. So then we're going to use day names square bracket and we're basically passing in four which means what will happen is we'll go okay zero monday one tuesday two wednesday uh, three thursday four friday so then we get a return of friday so we actually can get the text output from this array using the day of the week from any time or date output that we pass into it. So let's actually see this on Power Automate then. Okay, so we are on a flow which has a manual trigger. We then are initializing an array which has the days of the week, which is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then we are also calling in a compose action UTC now to get the current date and time. What we're then going to do is we're going to have another compose which is using day of the week and we're passing in the output of the UTC date and time. So we're expecting a five to come back here which is the get the day of the week number. But just like our demonstration at the beginning of the video, what we're going to do is we're going to take the variable, the array variable, and what we're going to do is we're going to pass the square brackets at the end because when you're putting the square brackets at the end of an array, you can pass in a number. And that number will select the specific location in that array and pass you the output. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the sub function because array start at zero, remember. And we need to minus one off of the number that we get back from our day of the week. So we're using the sub function, we're passing in the output of this compose action, and then we're subtracting one. So we're then doing a comma and then the one to actually remove the one. And if you haven't, um, if you're not familiar with the sub function, you can look at my sub function video. Okay. So let's actually run this and see what happens with our flow. So our flow has run successfully. We've created our array of weekdays. 
we have got the current date and time. We have then used the day of the week function, which has given us a five back. And then we've passed, we've passed that into the end of the array brackets and minus one. So we've gone zero, one, two, three, four, and we've got Friday text back. And that is how you can get the name of the day of the week from any date input using the day of week function, as well as an array of week names on Power Automate. That's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.